chat with someone said, well, is it, is it worth it? I mean, you were offered to go back to Ireland to live, what, a hundred yards away from someone who helped destroy my marriage. Because they said, what I've proved to you all, and you've seen, isn't true. Now, why would I do that? Huh? That wouldn't be fair to me, and uh, certainly would develop some form of actual mental health, wouldn't it? Because, let's face it, if someone had their marriage with part of the one they love, and spent 26 and a half years with, because they used false court documents to state that everything I've proven to you wasn't true, what would you do, grown men? Real men, I mean, not the ones who abandon their children, which I haven't done. You know, yeah, but surely this is doing your mental health in. Why? Because I know I'm telling the truth. What, was I have to sleep on the floor in a bus station? Because I barely have any way to live. I'm still paying out of my benefit to cover a phone bill. Excuse me, a gym membership. Um, you know, one when I went to family court. I went to family court and my ex didn't say a bloody word. She was shaking. She was scared and nervous. Why? Because of the false court documents she was yet again saying. Oh, she knew damn well I didn't know anything about the divorce. Yeah. Divorce that I tried to contest. Because there were toxic people around it. And lo and behold, the toxic statements and the toxic rubbish she turned up with. The fact of the matter is, Sarah Jane, is what you've done to our children is a disgrace. What you've done to me is a disgrace. I don't believe for one second that it was done without prompting. You knew damn well I never hurt our son. It was proven. And yet, you didn't back me up once with the uh, child conferencing sector you allowed them to railroad into our lives, breach our human rights. Now, as I said to the judge, I was looking to go to university, but even that was put on hold because people were hacking. Hacking I've already shown. Once again. So you spent 26 years with a man you didn't want to be with, and apparently used, abused you, lied, and apparently did all these things that aren't true, and you're allowing this to snap. You're allowing yourself to be involved in stuff that your uncle would have gone off his head with. Uh, and probably never spoke to you again for what you were doing. It's ridiculous, I think. Are you worth me going through all this to prove to you and our children it's all real? Yeah, a hundred times. I will not stop until this gets to the authorities properly. It's a disgrace. Am I going to Solon University to have a chat with the sound experts there? Yeah, I bloody am. I'm going to take this to the Solent, to the uh, the newspaper in Southampton. Yeah, I am. I've already been told to do it. All the locals here say, yeah, do it. It's a disgrace. Why are you out here? Well, I'm out here because of domestic abuse, economic abuse, etc. But none of these things were done by you maliciously or on purpose. You were prompted to do these things, and that I do know. I don't understand why you're allowing this to happen, Sir Jane. I think it's ridiculous. I think you're being untrue to yourself, and that's a bit I do not understand. You're nothing but a pillar in the community. You made sure money was donated to help community things and all the rest of it. You see people, and that's what I'm fighting for. The woman I met. Yeah? Have I been away for over two years and a bit? Yeah. Do I still love her? Yeah, I do. Everything I've been through, I put myself into exile, into Cornwall, the opposite side of the bloody country. Yeah, I already had evidence before I left, but it wasn't allowed to be seen, because that way it might prove that there's certain people that are already pulling her telling her what she had to do, controlling and coercing her, dragging our children into criminal activity, dragging her into criminals, which I'd pulled us away from, all of it, while still trying to deal with this, because I did not want her to be involved, didn't want it around our children. And yet you seem to be happy for it to be around our children. Now that I don't understand. What is it our kids did to deserve that? They didn't do a thing. They didn't do a thing to tell you close to deserve this to happen to us. But it's what's happened. I guarantee it's more happening now than you actually understand. Why don't you stand up and be the woman that I know for once? Be a mother of our children properly. Because what you're doing isn't doing that. You're allowing this to go unchallenged, unchecked. And it is that sadistic and that criminal. Why do you think I was trying to get into the government and work in London? Stop things like this happening. And yet you're sat there and allowing this to happen without doing anything properly. I'm not interested against the offences that you've committed against me currently. That's something that I can deal with properly. What you're not dealing with is what happened to us as a family. As husband and wife. As parents to our children. I think it's about time you actually did wake up, Sage. And have a proper chat with yourself for once without your bloody idiots around you. Let me swear categorically. All the idiots who broke up our marriage had no right. There's no extenuating circumstances to give someone a right to bowl into someone's family. 
and bully them around. Allow this to happen. It's a disgrace. I will be chasing them for charges and it will happen. I guarantee you now. I don't care what you think you owe them. You don't. You and I owe them nothing. They are nasty, manipulative people, Sarah Jane, as simple as that. And it will be seen by the country. There's your answer, people.